Okay, in this class I'm going to uh, finish my work on Hooke's Law from the first section of chapter 13. And remember, Hooke's Law is states that the force required to extend or compress a spring by some distance is proportional to that distance. When we spoke about springs, if I double the mass hanging from the spring, I double the stretch on the spring, I double the extension length. And we came up with this uh, equation again, we looked at it in previous classes. Uh, ultimately, the magnitude of the force on the object by the spring will be k times whatever the extension length is. That's essentially it. The negative takes into account the direction, um, but ultimately we're talking about the magnitude, so we're going to be kind of ignoring the negative sign, I suppose. So a, a two and a half kilogram particle rests on a smooth horizontal table. Here it is. Uh, between two vertical walls 18 meters apart is connected to the left hand wall by a horizontal string of natural length one meter and elastic constant four newtons per meter. It is connected to the right hand wall by a horizontal string of natural length two meters and elastic constant six newtons per meter. Find the position of equilibrium. I'll call that the equilibrium position, EP. So we're trying to find the equilibrium position. So with all these questions, we're always trying to visualize what's happening first. So it's important that you can kind of visualize this, take the in information. Before you think about anything to do with maths, just can you see the picture that's happening? You know, I've done up a little GeoGebra file for this, for this thing. We have a particle sitting between two things. There's a string out here to the left. There's a string out here to the right. There's a wall over here. There's a wall over here. And it's been pulled to the left by this string, it's been pulled to the right by this string. The strings are elastic, so as the particle moves around between the walls, the forces will change a little bit. Um, and if I look at this little GeoGebra file, you know, one thing that's remaining constant is the distance between the walls. So as it's moving towards the left hand wall, you can see that distance in there is decreasing, but this distance in here is increasing. So these two lengths are always going to sum to 18. They're always adding up to 18. And so, you know, as we go that way, this distance here is growing as I move to the right, but this one is shrinking, but the combined sum of the distances is always 18. Okay, so trying to visualize this thing as moving in some way, you know, I, I'll have to examine it a little bit more to figure out how it's moving. But at some point in here, it's going to come to rest at what we call the equilibrium point. And when the equilibrium point happens, the forces pulling it to the right will be equal to the forces pulling it to the left because the equilibrium point will happen when there's no acceleration, when it is just, uh, well, at rest in this case, but there will be no acceleration. So we're going to figure things out. So, you know, one thing we might do is define some variables. I might decide to call the distance between the particle and the left-hand wall x, in which case the distance between the particle and the right hand wall has to be 18 subtract x. Why? Because the two distances combined to give me 18. So that's an important uh, that's an important thing to know. So x is variable, but whatever x is, the other length of the string on the right will be 18 minus x. So x is, is you know, the actual length of the string on the left means 18 minus x will be the actual length. So these are uh, what we call actual lengths as opposed to natural lengths. So that's an actual length, that's an actual length. And we have Hooke's law which says the force, the spring force is equal to k times the extension length and the extension length is equal to the actual length minus the natural length. So we can figure out the forces at work on the particle here. So, you know, I draw a little force diagram here. There's going to be a force pulling that to the left, and there's going to be a force pulling that to the right. The force pulling the uh, object to the left is going to be the spring constant, or the elastic constant, multiplied the extension by the extension length. So the left-hand wall has a string of natural length 1 and elastic constant 4. So my force to the left is going to be my spring constant, 4, multiplied by the actual length, which is variable, that's x, that's changing, minus the natural length, which is 1, that's given in the question. That's the force pulling the object to the left. To the right, 
is going to be a force with a spring constant of 6 an actual length 18 minus x and then we're subtracting the natural length which is uh, also sorry it's not 1 the natural length to the right is 2 okay so the right hand wall string of natural length 2 elastic constant 6 we're trying to find the position of equilibrium well the position of equilibrium happens when there's no net force in other words where the force to the left is equal to the force to the right so we're just going to set these things equal to each other so at the equilibrium position 4 times x minus 1 must equal to 6 times well 18 minus 2 will be 16 16 subtract x and we can just solve here for x solving here for x fairly straightforward we'll get 4x subtract 4 equal to 6 16 well that's 96 subtract 6x add 6x to both sides we get 10x on the left uh, add 40 both sides we get 100 on the right so x is going to equal to 10 meters so 10 meters from the left hand wall is going to be my equilibrium position so 10 meters from the left hand wall is going to be my equilibrium position note that'll mean we're 8 meters from the right hand wall okay so when 10 meters from the left hand wall we'll have our equilibrium position and think about that we'd have the force to the left would be 4 times 10 minus 1, 4, 9 is 36 and the force to the right would be 6 times uh, 18 minus 10 that's 8 minus 2, 6 6 times 6, 36 so we'd have a 36 newton force pulling to the left 36 newton force pulling to the right the net force would be 0 the object would be in equilibrium position ok so this is Hooke's law a more complicated system than we've looked at because there's more forces at work what's the net force when the particle is halfway between the walls what's the net force when the particle is halfway between the walls if it's halfway between the walls well it's nine units from each wall draw a force diagram remember we said the net force to the left was always 4 times x minus 1 sorry the force to the left always 4 times whatever x is minus 1 so if x is 9 we're going to have 4 times 9 minus 1 which would be 4 eighths which would be 32 newtons that's pulling to the left and we said on the other wall you know it's going to be 16 times 16 minus whatever x is well x is 9 so we're going to have 6 times 16 minus 9 Uh, 16 minus 9 is 7, 6 7's are 42 newtons. So what's the net force? Well, we'll say right positive because obviously this is the greater force, it's going to be pulling to the right. The net force is going to equal to 42 newtons minus 32 newtons, which is 10 newtons. There's a 10 newton force pulling to the right to the right okay that is my net force it's 10 newtons pulling to the right what does that mean about acceleration well I think I said the object was two and a half kilos and we know F equals MA so A is equal to net force divided by M the net force is 10 the mass is 2.5 the acceleration will be 4 meters per second squared Okay, and that's a question uh, I think taken from the example section in your in your textbook actually. So that's the way I would think about it. But again, the big trick for those questions, in fact, for pretty much all questions on our course, is being able to visualize and change, you know, this English into some kind of visual picture of what's happening. You know, what's happening? Play the movie. Make sure you can figure out what's going on. Once you visualize, then you can start to. 
translated into mathematics. Define a variable here that tells me the length of that string. Figure out the forces to the left, the force to the right. Net force of zero will happen when the force to the left is equal to the force to the right. And that's what we call our equilibrium position. Okay, so practice will be moving on from Hooke's Law in our next class.